This is part one of a two-part tutorial, making a metal ADA braille sign. Because metal does not flex like plastic, the process of inserting raster braille beads into aluminum is slightly different. In plastic, the braille beads are pressure fit into the sign as opposed to aluminum which uses adhesive assist to hold the beads in place. The tools you will need are a pair of scissors, low-tack tape, double-sided high-tack tape, a braille pen with stainless steel rasters, and a small wood block. We are using Vision's 2525 CNC router engraver, with an engraving spindle, collet drill assembly, and a 1 16th drill bit. The spring pressure on the spindle should be tightened to a point where 1 8 inch of the spring is showing. We want maximum pressure when drilling down into a hard substrate. Ensure your aluminum backing is clamped down securely on the table. In the software, select the braille to send over to the router. You have two settings for inserting braille into metal. Braille metal, and braille metal cleanup. Select braille metal. Your braille metal settings should be as follows, spindle speed 18,000 RPM, cutting rate 1 inch per second, 3 second delay after tool down, plunge rate 0.1 inch per second, and Z lift height of 0.25 inches. Disable the proximity sensor, so the surface is set on the table itself. Once you confirm the setting, send over the job to the router. Depth is controlled by the micrometer which is set to about 52 thousandths. After the braille holes have been drilled, put a piece of low-tack tape over the holes. This helps with cleanup. More will be explained later in the tutorial. You are now ready to send the job over again, but this time select Braille Metal Cleanup. Your Braille Metal Cleanup settings should be as follows, spindle speed 17,000 RPM, cutting rate 1 inch per second, 1 second delay after tool down, plunge rate 0.5 inches per second, and Z lift height will remain at 0.25 inches. This is essentially a cleanup pass, so we can run it a bit quicker. Put a piece of double-sided high-tack tape over the low-tack tape. If you were to put the double-sided high-tack tape directly onto the metal surface, it would be very difficult to remove. Using low-tack tape between the aluminum and the high-tack tape allows for faster cleanup. Next, take your braille pen and insert the raster braille beads into the holes. Use a wood block to push, or tap down the rasters to ensure they are properly seated into the holes. Slowly remove the low-tack tape along with the high-tack tape. Be sure not to remove any of the rasters by tapping them back down with the wood block when needed.
This concludes part 1 of a two-part tutorial, making a metal ADA braille sign. In part 2, we will be adding the raised elements using engraver's plastic.